Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we made it to Moonstone Mountain, the Slave Mines. Let's continue, shall we? Let's go poke around and see what we can find. Hmm. Interesting. Strange blue square. Uh oh, I think we just stepped on some kind of switch. Hmm, well, it doesn't look like anything happened. It was probably nothing. Yes, phase. Probably nothing. Well, DeLoco, I've heard that the air pirates have crossed the South Ocean and that they're on their way here. Yes, I ran into them north of Hortica. They uh, narrowly escaped my flame cannon. <laughs> yes, well, fighting air pirates is a bit more difficult than burning down trees. But I guess you already know that. Baze was responsible for my demotion. I will make sure he suffers and I will prove to the world that I am Valua's greatest admiral. Soon, Galatian will be taking orders from me. I simply don't understand why someone as noble as myself is forced to take orders from anyone other than Empress Theodora herself. Well, Diloco, I must be going. I have to exterminate some pests. Idiot. Perhaps you should have stared into the mirror a little bit longer this morning. I think you have a hair out of place. As for you, Vase, you damaged my precious chameleon. You'll pay for that. Oh yes, you'll pay. The next time we meet will be the last. You're not wrong. Someone just set off the alarm. I wonder who it could be. Ah, Vase, how nice of you to drop by. You saved me the trouble of finding you. Yes, I know you're searching for the moon crystals as well. You must be trying to rescue Ispa. <laughs> Good. Good. You see, Vase, these mines are full of traps. Too bad for you. You can't escape, Vase. You will never leave these mines alive. Very overcompetent. Overconfident, I should say. Um, the exit just closed by itself. I don't know about you guys, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nope, won't open. Looks like it's locked. Yeah. Yeah, there's this place. Uh, it's not actually that long, really, considering. It's like one of the main dungeons. But let's have a little look. Down here, we should get a cham somewhere. Thank you, cham numero uno. Uh, should be able to use that as well straight away. Now, will that level us up? Items. Uh, where is it? Ah, there we go, cham. Hey, that's turned them into the sword. Which is good, because now we can use one of those Abrock uh, Chams, which should level him straight up into a more powerful form. Uh, where was that? Ah, there. Into his next form. That turns him into the star, so he's doing considerable more damage now. Anywho, let's keep exploring. Have a little look in here. Ah, hello. Slave. Pixie Tack and Slave. I haven't seen you around here before. Were you brought here recently? A man named DeLoco made this mine. It's filled with nasty traps. There's trap doors all over the place. And remember, a circle doesn't always mean it's the right way. If you can see below, look down. If there's a mining cart, it will come back here. Yeah, uh... That's going to be important for later on. We'll uh, 
get into that. Now, new enemies. New area, new enemies. Ooh. That big worm thing. Serpentis. Hmm. Well, instead of Samantis, it's a Serpentis. Interesting. The big... Oh, good boy. Ica is not doing so well. That's unfortunate. Let's give her one of those. Thousand health. That'll get her on her feet for now. Over there. And you can see Cupoid. The Cupid. Was it called Cupid? Cupo? Cupoid? Is a star attack, which still isn't doing a huge amount of damage. And we got those jellies as well. The Serpentis. This thing's actually. Ooh, terrible bite. Oh. Uh, wow. That thing. Hmm. Reasonably strong. And they're doing a turn E2. God damn it. Don't kill Ica. Good. Might have to use some spells on these guys. Oof, nasty. Ooh, that star actually does reasonable damage against those slimes, which is nice. Actually, I guess what we could do, we could use Luna Blessing. Give everyone a little bit of regen. It does help. We can skip out the start button. Two hundred health a turn is nothing to be sniffed at. That's a good way of making sure we're consistently topped up on health as well. Not that I think we're gonna, yeah, <laughs> have any chance of using the. Uh, is it over already? It is indeed over already. Don't get a huge amount for that, but you know we get enough. All right, let's heal up just a little bit. Uh, I guess we'll just use some crystals. There we go. Starting to take quite a few crystals to actually heal us all up now. So if we fall down a trap, we're going to appear back here. So that's worth remembering. I don't think... Nope, there's nothing up here. Oh, uh, let's keep going. The music here is very ominous. Now remember what Matey Boy said. If it's circle, it's a trap. I want to go through the X. You land on the circle, you'll fall through. And if you fall through, you're going to end up all the way back at the beginning. So what have we got? Ah. That was Fury on you. And everybody else well on that thing. Which is a digger. It's a new enemy. Unique to the mines, I believe. Not too bad. like a massive robotic digging tool. Kind of interesting. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Uses fire, elemental attacks, and physical attacks as well, but it's not nothing really to worry about. Cutlass Fury. Let's see if we can get another Cutlass Fury off before he runs away. Would be nice, but no. <laughs> Never mind. So there's still one enemy we haven't encountered down here. At least one enemy, anyway. But that's fine. I'm sure we will. Right, so we can go down here, but there's nothing here. So let's keep going. I'm gonna keep going round. Ah, yes. Remember what we said about the circles? We'll just go around on the squares, uh, on the crosses, I should say. Crosses are your friends. Apart from the rooms where they're not. We shall uh, explain that. Now, here, I think. I can't remember which way around we go now. Uh, I think. No. This way is nothing. Damn me and my silly brain. 
Right, what have we got here? Uh, ah, that's fine. You can just handle those. The special move, Cutlass Fury, and go for it. Let's fast forward this one. There we go. Ooh, not bad. And it's always nice. Ooh, Rizlin. Bryson, really. Bryson. Yeah, always nice to see uh, Fina level up. Alright, so I think we want to go this way, yes. Ooh, yeah, also. Another Cham. Cham's are always good. Let's go give our friend there. Cham. Can't remember if there's any other Chams. I've got two. Let me just check my notes a minute. Yeah, we're good. Cool, let's go. Let's keep going. Start heading down deeper underground. So this place is kind of mazy, but it's not too bad. What have we got? Ah, yeah. So these guys. These are the mine patrol. They're pretty just basic enemy grunts. Nothing really to worry about. As you can see, they're pretty weak. Like so. Yeah, they're nothing really. Anyway, let's go. Nothing to write home about. 300 gold in the purse though. Hey, attorney. Ooh, we've learned attorney. Nice. So, let's start opening some doors. Music is really freaking ominous as well. You received the cure crystals. Nice. Definitely take the cure crystals. Ah, these guys again. Nothing to worry about. Make short work of those. Ah, confusion, yes. I actually get a new weapon for Drachma here. Which, uh, his weapon that he's got now has a chance of causing confusion. The weapon we're going to get from next has a chance of causing death. So, yeah, a little bit better. A little bit. 800 gold? Eh, nothing to be sniffed at, I suppose. 800 gold is 800 gold. Yeah, the map doesn't make a huge amount of sense here. It's a bit wibbly wobbly all over the place. Now, this place, we actually uh, want to fall down here. So, that's a bit of a fuck. Ah, run. So, oh, yep, two of them are just going to run straight away, which sucks. Testicles. Kind of a waste of time, really. But whatever. Yeah, okay. Three of the four of them run away. Great. Still got a little bit of money. Right. Uh, I want to fall straight down. Nope. Not that one. That's the one. Ooh. And this leads us down here, which is where we really want to be. No. Yes. Maybe. I think this is where we really want to be. We can't go through there, can we? Damn it. Uh, what we got? What we got? Ah, just standard grunts. We'll take those out. Yeah, man. There we go. Oop. Now, I think we're going to... I know we've got to fall through one of these. I think it's the middle one. Maybe. Hey, Iron, nice. Ah, uh, is it the middle one? Let's try and pull through the middle one, see what happens. Yeah, cool. Yeah, because the other two will just lead us back to where we don't want to go. Right, not bad. Let's get out of here. Now, what's behind this door? Oh, 
Hello. Interesting. Hmm. You don't look like you're a Valuan. Who might you be? I'm Vase. Are you Isper? No, it appears you've mistaken me for someone else. My name is Sentine. Then you're Hans, father. You know Hans? Then you must have been to the village in Hortica. That's where my wife and children are. Everybody was okay, right? Yeah, they're doing just fine. But you should uh, worry about yourself right now. Oh, I'm okay. When I refused to help Valua, they threw me into these dungeons. Now, I've been here for quite a while. You were looking for someone named Isper, correct? If so, then you'll need to venture further into these mines. I think I can help. There are elevators scattered throughout the mines. You will need to use them to reach the other areas. I can get them working. Yeah, he's a useful trap. Useful trap? Useful chap. Woohoo! Wow. Sensei, you're amazing. Why, well, thank you. I must advise you, proceed with caution. There are all sorts of traps. I'll travel ahead and see if I can disarm them for you. Thank you. You've been a great help to us already. It's the least I can do. You rescued me, remember? I'm sure we'll meet again. Good luck. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, he's one of the good ones. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep progressing through. Have a little look. What's behind door number one? Hey, Zalseed. We'll hang on to that. What else have we got? Uh, we can go straight down. Let's go straight down first. Because we've got some little items down here, which we definitely want. Uh, that's the three inch blaster. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Nice ship weapon. Ooh. Ah, I've got a few enemies here. Nothing that we can't handle. No point using anything fancy. Just all that attack. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's going to hurt. Hey, nice. Brackman actually got that. In one hit. Not bad. Happy with that. Right, what else have we got here? 800 gold. We'll take it. Some more levels. Cool. Right, what's behind door number two? Apparently, door number two has nothing in it. That's fine. Okay. Door number two has nothing. That's fine. Down here, there is definitely something. So, we have the D-Loco Drill, which is a wicked weapon, and that's for Drachma. Hey, buddy, you've got a nice, fancy new weapon. So, he's got the Beak Hand, which does 60 damage. Uh, the Drill is 95 damage. That is a colossal increase. We keep him with purple. But it also, yeah, spinning blade can, can kill instantly, so not bad. Also, somewhere around here, there's a moonfish, I think. Uh, we just got some base enemies, that's fine. I don't know if there's any limitations to what he can instantly kill. Obviously, uh, bosses aren't included. But... I don't know if there's certain enemies that are immune to it. I'm not sure. Apart from, you know, bosses. Nice bit of money. Cool. We'll have it. Ah. Here we go. Moonfish. I was... Ah, there you are. Moonfish was caught. Sweet. Right. Let me just update my... Oops. Cool. Right, let's get out of here. Now, there is one inconsistency that I can find with all of the guides and stuff I have. Apparently, there is a 
tenth chest in this area. That regards a D loco ma armor, mail armor, chain mail, I assume. Um, but it's mentioned, but I haven't found anywhere that actually explains where it is, so I don't know whether it's a mistake or what, but I'll do some further research after this. We can always come back in here if I have to find a chest, but I have thoroughly explored this place as well, and I never found it, so I don't know, man. Anyway, keep going. Right, now that brings us back out here, and I haven't seen any chests that we haven't got either. Um, but hey, like I say, if we've definitely missed it, maybe Chris will know. Um, let's go for Cutlass Fury, and then everybody else just pile on as usual. These enemies are pretty basic. Nothing to worry about here, nothing to see here. Yeah, they're just going to run away anyway, so it seems like such a waste of experience and money for the enemies to run away. Got a Weevil's box, sure, I guess. Alright, let's keep going. We are mostly through this place now. Actually, there's one thing I want to check. Ah... There is another chest there. Wait a minute. So how, pray tell, does one get that? That might be the chest in question. Hmm. Which is interesting. Because that means the official primer guide fails to mention this chest. Which, you know... They've definitely made mistakes in those guides before, but that's kind of a big one if you ask me. Ah, uh, right, so... If we fall down there... See, there's that there. But I'm not 100% sure how. Ah, uh, we get around there. Let's have a little look, shall we? So if we fall down there... Where does that leave us? Let's go down here. It's gonna leave us here. What's down here exactly? Let's have a look, shall we? There's another chest there. It's definitely interesting. Yeah, this doesn't lead anywhere. Which is rather curious. So. Let's have a fiddle around. Ah, so that... get there via a lift but what about the other one now ah, that chest down there is already opened that chest is opened right okay okay I think we're good I think we're actually good so that chest there is the one I think I missed. So, we're going to make sure we find out how to get that one. I mean, the great thing about this place is we can always just come back anyway. This place never, as far as I know, gets locked off to you. Now, it's probably not the most important piece of armor in the game, but we do need it to get 100% of the chests. Right, so Matey Boy has leveled up, which is nice. Aha, 
has led us in a bit of a tricky spot. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, that one down there is not open. How do we get to that one? So there's two. I'm pretty sure we'll get that one anyway as we go on through the game. Pretty sure. As we uh, tackle all of these battles. Yeah, I would love the ability to just turn random battles off. Because although they're okay, when you're trying to explore, they really are just obnoxious. Isn't it interesting that they cut the encounter rate down by 50% on the game conversion? Uh, right. So... I actually remember which way, yeah, it was that way, straight ahead. But it's safe. Now, what do we have here? Back up. Yeah, curious. Good thing we can always just come back if we've missed something. Yeah, man. There we go. Yeah, that's the only thing when you're relying on a um, primer guide. You've got to kind of like trust that everything's accurate. <coughs> oh, wait. Have we gone? Yes, we've gone the wrong way. Because of course we have. Why wouldn't I be going the wrong way? Ooh. This is actually the room that we want to fall down in. Uh, right. How on, guys? I'll get us back to where we were. Okay, so on the other side of this room, we can literally just fall straight down here and get whatever the hell is in this one. Which is the Deloco Mail. Yeah, that is the one that I was stuck finding. Cool. Okay, then. And unfortunately, the result of that is we have to go all the way back to the start. Interesting. Very interesting that it doesn't mention that. Anyway, guys, so let me fight my way back up. And I'll meet you guys back up to where we were. Okay, I think we're roughly back to where we were. So, anyway, we haven't equipped the mail. Let's have a little look at that, shall we? Ooh, golden armor is what he's got. Yeah, it puts up a little bit. It's not hugely uh, better than what he has, but, you know, better is better. So, a suit of armor crafted by D Loco, designed to protect the wearer from enemy attacks. Well, I would hope that's what the armor does. Let's keep going. Now, somewhere... We actually do... Want to go down to that bridge, if we can. Ah, this is what we want. I think. So it's been a little while since I've played this game. Yeah, 20 years. Give or take. Okay. Ah, perfect. This is what we want. So what have we got this time? Oh. Cutlass Fury on you and everybody else bail on the other one. Hey. Ah, of course we're only going to get one. Almost seems impossible to manage to get to the second one. So that's where there is another pot just up there. Well, another chest. Not sure why I called it a pot, but hey, whatever. Hehehe, good. <laughs> good. Good. Soon, Vase. Very soon you will die. And when you die, I want you to die slowly. Yes, yeah, slowly. Really slowly. I want your brains to gush out of your head. 
Uh, I think if your brain was gushing out of your head, it wouldn't be that slow. Pardon me, dear Loco. I didn't mean to interrupt one of your intellectual monologues. I came to tell you that Vase has broken into the mines. And you figured this all out by yourself. What gave it away? Was it the alarm? Maybe it was the sirens. <laughs> yes, well, the fact is that he f was foolish enough to deliver himself to me, so I shall go dispose of him. We will see about that, Alfonso. You are the fool, Alfonso. Yeah, the only reason that you were made admiral was because of your family. You don't stand a chance against Vase. I shall kill him. I want him to die. Die, die, die. Yes, he's a pleasant chap. Soon, very soon. <laughs> yeah, he's not exactly a, a happy chap, considering he's got... Uh, you know, happy markers on his armor there. Or on his helmet, I should say. Right. Well, that's not good. Neither is that. Ambush. Yeah, so we've definitely missed a chest. At least as far as I can tell. Just kill these guys. They're nothing special. Which is intriguing. Because that is two chests in this dungeon that the official primer guide fails to mention. How bizarre. Unless... I was going to say, unless there's actually uh, an elevator here, which I don't think there is. Oh well, I shall come back and get it. You received the Glyph of Might, which will definitely take the Glyph of Might. The last few chests should be in this room. Glyph of speed times four. And there should be another one in here. Healing salve. Nice. Right, let's go into this last door here. Ah. There is Impa, I guess. Although he really should be called Nigel. That's a Discord joke. And who might you be? Are you the High Priest, Ispa? Or Ispa? I should say. The one and only. I am Ispa. We're on a mission from King Ixitaka. We're here to rescue you. <laughs> well, the king knows what I like. Sending two beautiful women to come save me. I have no use for you men. Now, if you just leave us alone for a while. Dude. Oof. Oh, really? There's no way this dirty old man is a high priest. I beg to differ. Dirty old man is the perf uh, a priest is the perfect occupation for a dirty old man. Oh, aren't you a pretty one? In all my years, I've never seen anyone like you. I believe that you're silverite. Am I right? <gasps> what? How did you know? <laughs> instinct, my dear, instinct. I'm very observant, especially around women. I could probably guess that goofy girl's measurements. Uh, that's... Really creepy. Huh. Okay, that does it. I know we have to bring him back, but the king didn't say anything about bringing him back conscious. Yeah, I'm with Ica on this one. Pretty disgusting. Relax, Ica. Right. Now, we just have to worry about getting out of here alive. Let's go. Yeah, kind of a dick. Oh. So, you've rescued Ispa. Ispa? Is that her? Who gives a shit? Very nice. Hee hee hee. But soon you will die. You will die a horrible death. And you will scream and I will laugh. <laughs> Gotta love him. Ooh, that's a very blood-stained floor. I've prepared my favourite room just for you. Please come in and stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Oh, he thinks he's so clever. Right, well, let's not keep him waiting. 
Uh, I guess we go oh there. Well, I guess we could use some magic, I suppose. Sacri. I mean, oh wow, look how much MP Fina has. Oof. Right, let's go. And here we are. So we found everything here, apart from one item, which is really annoying. But we're on 35 minutes here, so I'm going to save it. We're literally right at the end of Moon Mountain. And when we come back, uh, I'm going to discover how to get that other chest. But until then, guys, thanks for watching.